The Super Mario Bros. Wonder Direct showed off a lot, from new worlds and stages to new playable characters and power-ups. But maybe the most impactful reveal was the addition of equipable badges. It's funny because Mario is no stranger to wearing badges. That was status quo in some of the earlier Paper Mario titles, but we've never seen this system expand beyond those RPGs. Funnily enough, in Super Mario Bros. Wonder, badges function conceptually the same as they did in those games. When equipped, each offers your character a unique skill or perk, and crucially, only one badge can be equipped at a time. When theorizing about new games in the 2D Mario series, I've had ideas before about adding in some RPG elements. In most cases though, I've walked away from those ideas thinking they would end up being too much. But after that direct, I can say the way we saw them implemented in Wonder seems to strike a great balance. Badges now offer a character customization aspect, but it's not too complicated or overbearing. One badge provides one skill. That's it. In the years leading up to Wonder's reveal, a lot of the conversation about 2D Mario revolved around how the series needed to innovate on its mechanics. And that's a great idea in theory, something Nintendo always excels at in their games. But with something as pure as 2D Mario, drastic change can without a doubt prove difficult. There are a ton of innovative 2D platformers out there, platformers Mario can certainly take inspiration from, just like they all took inspiration from him. But in doing so, there's a risk of losing the purity of the experience. There are many that might argue 2D Mario is what it is and doesn't need to change so drastically. So while some might have been pleased with a bold new direction, others may have been left disheartened, perhaps wondering, is this even Mario anymore? Super Mario Bros. Wonders badge system is a genius way to change up things with some fresh core mechanics, but in a way that's not permanent. That's the magic of it. For those wanting to play with all the new experimental ideas, then go wild with the badges. Conventions will change, rules will change, and surely it will be a fascinating new step for the franchise. And for those who prefer a more traditional 2D Mario experience like the games of old, just don't touch the badges. It's as simple as that. You'll still be able to experience all the cool new stages in a way you're comfortable with. And you know the new power-ups and wonder flowers are going to keep things very interesting still. But maybe you're like me and don't have a hard stance on 2D Mario either way. You just want more of it. Well, Wonder's badge system helps in this regard too, since at the same time, it will help players adjust the game's challenge level on the fly. Maybe there'll be a badge that keeps your character small, forcing you to clear stages without getting hit. Maybe there'll be a badge that shuts off all power-ups. Maybe a badge that spawns more enemies than normal on a given stage. The possibilities for more extreme challenges using badges are pretty much endless. And the same goes in the opposite direction. There are plenty of badges that can help make the game easier. Any badge that grants a new ability will probably make things easier to an extent. Plus, we've already seen a badge revealed that very deliberately decreases the stakes, the Safety Bounce badge, which causes your character to automatically bound upward if they fall off the stage, giving you a second lease at life when mistakes are made. As far as shakeups to the core mechanics go, the Grappling Vine badge is the coolest one so far in my opinion. The extendable vine that can grapple walls ahead of you adds something completely new from a movement perspective Mario's never had before. Something like the Vine badge which changes and extends the limitations of Mario's movement, is just one of what I'm sure are many examples of how equipping badges will change 2D Mario as we know it. And what's even better is that the various badges can help make playing through the same exact stage a different experience each time, depending on which badges you have equipped. The Parachute Cap is yet another badge ability with a ton of potential. This one gives each character a slow float, which will no doubt come in handy for stages with a lot of precise platforming. And maybe it will offer even more. Perhaps it'll help us reach secret areas of a stage that might not be accessible without it. Gliding with the cap will let us cross longer horizontal gaps, so maybe bringing that badge into certain stages will give us access to all secrets, letting us get the 100%. And it's not just the glide that could help us reach new hidden areas of the stage. 
This could pretty much apply to any other badge that also expands movement. It will be great to see how badges work in conjunction with all the new power-ups Wonder is introducing. I can imagine combos like Bubble Mario and Parachute Cap working really well together, as you can blow bubbles and then bound off them with a glide for massively expanded movement. I'm excited to see what other badge and power-up pairs might form nice symbiotic relationships with each other, and I'm sure some really fun combos will be discovered once the game is actually out. Plus, this isn't even to mention how Wonder Flowers might change things. Let's say a Wonder Flower turns a certain stage into a free fall, like we saw in the Direct. Then having Parachute Cap equipped will surely make that section a much different experience. Maybe a Wonder Flower will cause you to be chased by a stampeding herd, like we've already seen. Then the Jet Run badge and maybe even the Grappling Vine could be a game changer in that scenario. The beauty of the badge system is that it's multi-purpose. It's not only a smart and safe way to innovate on 2D platformer mechanics, it, at the very same time, makes the entire experience customizable and because of that, much more replayable. And this is almost certainly by design. One of the game's producers and a storied mind behind the entire Mario operation, Mr. Tezuka from Nintendo, mentioned in a recent interview how it kind of makes him sad that people might only play a Mario level once. But with the wide array of options offered by Super Mario Bros. Wonders badge system, he's not going to be sad for much longer.